and welcome to Gordo's Games, it's Gordo here bringing you some more Digimon TCG content. So today I'm bringing you a deck profile for Red Krez. Red Krez Garumon. Now, Krez is black, but it plays into red. And the fact is, Krez Garumon, I really, really like the card. You know, the idea of the card um, is playable in both red and black. They're two of my main colours. But the idea of giving something, uh, having reboot in red is very good. Because the fact is, red has a very uh, good good shot style of buffing its DP and then to be able to re-stand and make it safe so that when you swing take out something you have a high level of control and then Krez has the effect of when you uh, digivolve it you can for how many cards your opponent uh, digimon your opponent controls you can reveal that many cards on the top of your deck and play with a level 5 or lower so you get to plus on board as well so it's really really strong and the only way they get rid of a Krez is by a couple of methods Trump Sword, Gaia Force, Omni, Alter S, uh, Millennium on. Common theme there, none of them cost any less than six. Um, obviously, there are other things like that, like other methods, and that, and like Alter S doesn't actually get rid of Krez, it actually, actually sets up to go into another Krez. Um, but things like that, you're generally not paying anything, uh, anything less than six to try and remove that body or try and re re reduce the threat. You can Infinity Cannon in black, but again, six cost takes it all the way down, but that re obviously reduces the, th the threat of it. So there's um, that idea of reboot and just being safe, and then actually giving yourself access to Millennium Mob in red is, uh, you know, and with how, how strong Millennium Mob is, it's just a really good concept. So I'm enjoying it, enjoying it. So I want, I want to share it with you all here. So let's get into the deck profile. As always, if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you know when my content goes live for you. But let's get into the profile. Alright then, so we're going to start off with the DigiX then. Uh, so we run 5, and they're pretty basic. Or Digimon, Digimon the inherently the best Digi, red DigiX that's going. If your opponent has 5 cards in trash, you get 1000 DP on your turn. Just good. It's a lot lighter than the alternative, which is Coromon. Coromon is also very good, but the Digimon's live quicker. So if we could run 5, we would, but this is uh, to fill out that space. And generally, Coromon still gives you that 1000 DP as long as you're at the to uh, top end of your stack, as long as you have 4 or more Digivolution cards against 1000 DP. So it's handy to have in there. So run 5 Digi-X. Uh, go into the level 3s. I believe it's 14. Don't hold me to it just yet. But it's pretty standard lineup. Four Agumon. Star deck Agumon. Generic uh, buff. On your turn, you get 1000 DP. No criteria, no nothing. It's just that good. Just having that under any Digimon is really good. Uh, run four of Beomon. Memory Gainer. Because we run Kred's Groom on here and it's a four cost, yeah, okay, if you have the Tamer, it puts it to three. But if we, ha if we have this on board alongside it, swing, die, gain a memory, you're at four, you get Kred's on the same turn. And then if you've managed to, um, to get enough value on board, you can Millennium on to get rid of something afterwards. Or if you hit a 5 cost from that um, that play off the top, you then go into Gallopmon. If you have the Tamer down, pop the 6k. There's, uh, there's all alternative plays, there's all sorts of spice. Uh, 3 of Monagemon. It's a vanilla 2k. Uh, it's good for memory choke, it's good to get on board. It's just, the vanillas are just good. We all, we all know this. We all know this. Hence we play another 3 uh, vanillas which are in the form of a Beomon. So as I said, pretty standard line up there, and yes, it it was 14, I was right. Uh, going to level 4s, we run 11 here. So first things first, we run 3 of Tyrannomon. Now, I generally didn't think to use this card when I first built this deck. I, I built, like, this is something I found uh, from, I think, True Champ, and then a few other builds that were showing it around. And it makes a lot of sense because you go Tyrannomon, then you evolve up into a Lava if you stay on turn, and then go into a Crest, it reboots, and you get another plus of another card on board. And in that time, you've had a free swing which is safe, and then gone up to a bigger body. So, generally a really good card. So, I, I lay no claim to this. I've never tried it before. It was something I just uh, took from builds I saw, and it, I think it's generally good. There are alternatives if you're given this. Obviously, you can go Security Attack Raymon, uh, just to give the Crest that added bit of threat. That's not a bad shout at all. Possibly some I'll try in the future. Who knows? Might even try this switching out the ratios a little bit. Uh, it run four of Dark Tyrannomon. It's it's a vanilla again. Uh, one cost to evolve. It's just good. When you start your turn, and you've got this 
when you go into dots around them and you put them on one for the turn, that's an optimal turn by any means. Uh, four Cordium blockers are needed. Um, this deck has an interesting matchup, matchup to Rush, and things like this do help. And the Krez playing out a blocker from its effect is always nice. So just having these is a is a really good idea in the deck. It, it stops you from being just completely rushed down. So we run eleven level fours there. Uh, going on to level fives, we run eleven here again. So we run three of Lava of Terramon. Uh, it's two cost to evolve, so it's nice and cheap. It's an 8k body, and if you play this off Krez, that's great value. Because like I said, it's an 8k body. So on the following turn, if they've swung with something that's lower, you can swing into it. So this is a threat. For the alternative purposes, if you have to hard play something, ground them on. Five cost to one play. Really solid card, puts in a lot of work. Um, just call it the old faithful. It does it does a great amount of work within red. Uh, two school Greymon. Unplay, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with blocker. Unplay that from a Krez Garumon. If they have a blocker on board, that is the pinnacle of getting value for your cards. And then the last couple of slots, we've got the Memory Borrower. Because we play things that are four cost, and because we can play, potentially play these things out for free. Um, swinging with this just to extend your turn, just to be able to play out sync things like a Krez Grumon to get another body on board, or play into a Gallantmon just to clear someone off board, um, really does help. And then if you've got a Volcanic or anything like that, you know, because you don't give memory away afterwards, do the old style set one kind of thing, Gaia Force thing out of the way, or Volcanic so they're not getting any more off you, you've just absolutely maximised. And then last but certainly not least, we run two of the SEC Melt Greymon. Really, 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 really like this card, but I really, 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 really don't like this card. Why? I like it's inherent, I don't like it as a card to have on board because I don't want to swim with 9k for that many checks, I don't think it's going to live. Uh, but on top of that, I lose 5 memory for it. So if they have a something on board that I could kill because I'm 9k, I can't because I lose 5 memory just for swinging. But the inherent makes this a have to play because it makes your Krez Groom on 14k. And that's big, that's big. 14k on Krez Groom. It's the one thing that Black struggles with, which is buffing DP, and this this is what Red does, so it's a nice mixture. Going into level 6s, the main man, 4 Cress. Um, I probably could have cut this down by 1 uh, and look at some of the flex spots, but 4 is good for now. It's generally a good card. It puts in a lot of work. Um, and obviously, all the cards will be slightly displayed at the side here to let you know what they do, but it has reboot itself. And then, when Digivolve and reveal one card from the top of your deck for each Digimon your opponent has in play, you may play one black or red Digimon card with a level 5 or less among them without playing its memory costs. So, this works in red and black. Uh, run 2 of Volcanic Digimon. On play, del uh, delete all of your opponent's Digimon with 4000 DP or less. Great against Rookie Rush. Great against their opponent if they're trying to get a wide on you. It's just all around a good card. And then a one of Ganymon. Um, if you have a red tamer in play, on, uh, when Digivolving, delete a 6k, uh, Digimon, uh, 6 d thousand DP Digimon. And then if you are swinging late game, this card's amazing, especially against purple. Uh, swing if you, they've got 10 or more in trash. For every 10 cards in your opponent's trash, you trash the top of their security, and then do your check. So if they've got one left, they have 10 in trash. You swing, trash that, and you swung for game. It really can close out the game quite nicely. Gallantmon, obviously we know how good Gallantmon is. Uh, level 7s, we run a 1 of Alter S. Um, it's in here because we have access to it both from red and black. It's all uh, from the Karez and the Gallants and everything like that. Uh, it's good for stopping wide boards, so it's good against uh, Rookie Rush, it's good against green. It's It has its good matchups. It's not always the best, because I don't like using it things like Shine, because you do well in shine, they go down to a rise and they go back into the shine, it's just like that, that wasn't that practical. But in those situations we have Millennium on. It's a bottom deck stuff. And this is why Krez works so well with this and because it gives you access in red to having this. And this card is such a threat because of the fact it comes back once again. So it's, it's uh, even if you Gaia Force, you're going to have to do it again. So that's 16 memory to get rid of this. And it's a lot. So it's generally a really, really good card. So that's all for level 7s. And then we have two Gaia Force, 
Sky Force. I mean, it's generally just one of the best option cards in the game. Um, it seems to be dropped more and more in the sense of nobody, uh, you can't justify running too many of them, which is right. There's not enough space index nowadays for it, but I think two is the minimum you can go to. And then two of the Red Tie Tamer. Um, just to reset you back to three, keeps Gallimont alive, uh, Gallimont's effect alive. And if you've got the Kres and that, if you play it into the Kres and you're on three, you put, you're going to memory choke them to one. So it's a really good card. It's a really, generally, the deck itself is fun. I'd advise to try it. Um, it's an interesting take on some of the decks these days. As, as we get further into the set and towards the end of it, new things are coming out, which is great. But if you did like this uh, profile, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe as per normal. Thank you for tuning into Gordo's Games. And as, as per the usual, let's get digital.